Let's bring in economist John Lonsky. He's another regular on the program who's pointed us higher, pointed us towards a positive direction and been right. So, John, I want you to compare the recovery that we did see after the 2008 crash, that recovery, versus this recovery after the virus. Tell me about it. What's the, what's the comparison? Well, you know, let's begin with one of the most important economic indicators, the unemployment rate. Recently, the unemployment rate fell under 8% in September. It took only five months for the jobless rate to drop from nearly 15% to less than 8%, 7.9%. Let's go back to the 2008, 2009, what followed that great recession. It took 35 months, 35 months, that's nearly three years for the unemployment rate to drop from 10% in October of 2009 to uh, less than 8% uh, by a point in, in 2012. Right there, we're doing much better. And we will find indicator after indicator. In some cases, we're already setting new record highs. Retail sales has set a new record high. We had to wait 33 months for retail sales to set a new record high after the Great Recession. All right, tell me about the stock market, because I think the baseline for stocks is often the profitability of American corporations. We're just starting to get the latest profit reports. We've got too few to make a general judgment at this point. But how do you see profitability going in the future? Profitability is going to be very good next year. I'm with a consensus. You know, the, uh, equity analysts who look at this stuff very closely say that in uh, 2020, uh, corporate earnings, S&P 500 earnings, will be down by 17 to 18 percent annually. That's bad news. But the good news is that in 2021, S&P 500 earnings per share are expected to grow by, I think, more than 22 or 23 percent annually. So uh, profits will more than fully recover from their COVID-19 plunge in less than a year. Does that mean the stock market's likely to continue its rally? Why not? Because interest rates are going to remain very low. My goodness, if you get less than 1% uh, from a 10-year uh, Treasury yield, if you're getting and right now just under 2% from investment-grade corporate bonds, it doesn't make any sense to be in bonds. It makes a lot of sense to be in equities up until that point where the economy is strong enough and we begin to see the 10-year Treasury yield breaking towards 2%. All right, John, the bulls are running amok this morning, and we thank you as always for joining us today and over the past few years. John Lonsky, everyone. All right.